guys, we are back with more Super Robot Wars 30. So we actually had a fair amount of things open up for us today. Or at least last time. Why am I way up here? Hold on a second. 14th, yeah. I was a little confused that it put me way up there for some reason. In fact, I'm gonna look. <laughs> Wait a second. So yeah, we got the Zeta Gundam and the new Gundam now. Amuro and Camille got some upgrades. We shifted around some people. And by that I mean Fa is in the... <laughs> Fa is actually in the... Uh, not the Mark II. What the hell is she in? She's actually in the MP New. You know what though? <clears throat> At the very least, or hmm, the Mark II is not too bad. I wouldn't mind someone being in this. The Gundam's kind of pushing it. Oliver being in, in the Gundam would be kind of funny, though. There isn't necessarily anybody who is not assigned. You know what, though? So Tamash has the, the dash hexa. But Tamash could also be... in just the regular dash. Because the dash actually has more upgrades on it. Yeah, two hexes. I forgot about that. Just kind of kicking around. You know what that means? We could have had fucking Fawn one of the dash hexes this whole time. <laughs> ah, shit. But Adelo could be... In the mark too. It feels it feel kind of weird to have the Shrike team in something that's not one of these, just because they wouldn't have their team attacks anymore. So I might actually just keep them in those. the overall strength by comparison. It's definitely stronger. He'd probably make pretty good use of it. Just putting him in the hobby Gundam. In fact, mm, I don't know if I actually got that its upgrade bonus? I'm not, maybe I did. I know at, at one point, uh, they're gonna switch back. In fact, it might even be today. Because there's a fixed, um, sortie where the Gundam goes back out. And it's probably gonna be Amuro in it for some whatever weird reason. I feel like I'm, like, skipping it. Constantly, like, where the fuck? <laughs> there it is. Goddamn. Beam Rifle and Beam Saber gain counter. What? Okay. That's an interesting bonus. It's weird that it didn't have that already. Wait. You're that strong and I don't have the upgrade bonus for you? Fuck. Plus 10 morale, 50 EM, 1 move, and 100 armor. Shit. Wait, did the upgrades to the MP new translate to that? Yeah, yeah, they did. More or less. 
Wow. Okay. Considering how Battlelog ended, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I mean, real talk, what? The first build fighters, or at least the first, like, serialized one was straight up just an isekai anime on the side, so fuck it. It's always kind of had that element to it. Seems in there. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I was I was saying that we were gonna do these two yesterday, I think, so in fact I'm very curious. Considering that those two are out there too, it probably is Amro. The team visits Jabro Federation HQ and Battleground for a little reminiscing. We'll do this one first. I need to watch Build Real and see if they did the same thing. Yeah, man. Build Build Real was kind of a flash in the pan, huh? Like, they talked about it a little bit, had a certain amount of time, and it was just done. <laughs> it was just over. <clears throat> How do you say this in English? A return to Jabro. Jabro base. Jabro. Of all the places to stop for the Dry Stalker's maintenance, it had to be Jabro. It hasn't changed once in the past decade, huh? Yeah. Don't go too far down memory lane there, Amro. Are you thinking back to Lieutenant Woody? Maybe. He was a guy you admired, and Matilda's fiance. He was killed in action during a fighting here 10 years ago, right? He just said, don't go too far down memory lane. I know it's for the player's sake, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> just spell it out, why don't you? Lieutenant Woody and Matilda both taught me a lot about life. They're probably a big part of why I'm still a soldier today. Losing them in battle was devastating to us as teenagers. Say, Amaro, do you still carry around that group photo we took with Matilda? Sadly, no. That one went down with the white base and a boa coup. Sorry, Amro. I'd give you mine, but I lost my copy a while back, too. What about you, Ryoma? No, I guess that's a dumb question. I'm good either way. Who needs pictures to remember, to remember stuff anyway? All we have to do is close our eyes, and we can remember those days whenever we want. Yeah, and the Battle of Jabro. That was the biggest ground battle out of any we ever took part in. So much of it was in the jungle and the underground caverns. Getter 1 could barely do anything. Meanwhile, Hay Hayato's Getter 2 was right in its element. I still remember that drill off it had with that freaky Xeon prototype mobile suit. Jabra was supposed to be impregnable, but nobody was expecting Xeon to try to tunnel in from underground. Yeah, but nobody beats Hayato when it comes to using a drill. Speaking of things in her element, Musashi's Gitter 3 pulled more than its fair share of weight, too. Oh man, I remember when he threw that short legged underwater mobile suit with a Daisetsu. Daisetsu's on Orochi. That was probably history's greatest face up between robots with low centers of gravity. I guess in their case, they were on the side that was defending Jabro. Yeah, a few years later, Jabro was an assault target f for us in the AUG. If those guys have been defending it when we attacked, it probably would have ended up crashing and burning. The AU managed to take Jabro, but it was only a small portion of its sprawling facilities. The nuclear bomb that the Titan set only destroyed the area that we'd taken. Which is why Jabro is still up and running today, I assume. Where, where are you going, Lieutenant Quattro? I'm not them, but this place brings back some memories of my own. Things I'd just as soon not dwell on. You mean Rakoa, don't you? That's one element, yes. It sounds like you've got bad memories all over the place, Lieutenant. Why are you smiling about that? You're hardly wrong. I wasn't trying to be snide, I promise. But if you really left your past behind, shouldn't you do the same for this? Believe me, I would if I could. Hey Camille, have you seen Susie? 
that's never a good thing to open up with. <laughs> Not today. Why? She apparently wandered off on her own. She said she was going to explore Javro. If nobody knows where she is, she might be lost. Javro is a military facility, so it's got plenty of security cameras and stuff. Maybe you can ask the base to help finding her? I already did, actually. No luck? Yeah. Javro is a huge place. And it's not as if every inch of it has camera coverage. So if cameras haven't turned anything up, Susie's in a blind spot. How are we supposed to identify places like that? I happen to have a map of the EFF camera blind spots. Lieutenant Quattro, why do you still have that? <laughs> Simply hanging on to it won't do me any good. Consider it part of shaking out the past for me. I'll share it. Okay then. Let's check places on the map that Susie could reach. I'll call for more help. Susie, please be safe. Who let this entire child loose? Why are you out in the middle of nowhere? You tiny gremlin. Oh no, I've gotten totally lost. I should have brought Haro with me. You know, that's a good point too. Haro's nosy ass. Uh oh, what'd you find? Ah, there you are. Good. Lieutenant Quattro, of all the people to find you, it had to be me, hmm? Come on, let's go back. Everyone's worried sick about you. Wait! What is it? You startled me. My knees are still kind of wobbly. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, we'll wait until you're back on your feet. Are you sure? Aren't you super busy? I actually volunteered for the search team because I wanted a little time to myself. Oh, I get it. You wanted to go exploring too. In a sense. Maybe I found you because I was alone. Just like back then. What do you mean by back then? I've been here before, roughly 10 years ago. I met someone special back then. Was it your girlfriend? No, my sister. Oh, you have a sister. I haven't seen her for almost as long as my last trip here. You remind me of my sister when she was your age. Um, do you wish you could be a kid again? Why do you ask? Because when I see you, it makes me think that grown-ups have it hard. I mean, Amro and Koji and the others are grown-ups too, but you've always got this sad face. Let me stop you right there, Susie. If I look sad, it's because I'm a poor excuse for a grown-up. Amro and the others are different. Proper grown-ups face their past while looking forward toward the future. Don't you do that? I don't have the right to. You're not a hopeless grown-up, Lieutenant. I mean, you found me. If anyone's hopeless, it's people who think of themselves as hopeless. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Hearing you ad admonish me like that reminds me of when my sister used to scold me. Huh? What's wrong? Susie, get down! Ah, shit. Leia, she's the princess that used to be a planet. Zagax. If they're using the route to get into Javro, it must be old Xeon remnants. M mobile suits. Get on my back, Susie. We're getting out of here. Uh, okay. That was quite a feat, Susie. Thanks to you, we detected the enemy early. <laughs> Eh, that's one way to put it, I guess. I came after getting the call from Char, but... I'm sure he wasn't expecting to stumble across an attack from Xeon Remnants. Oh shit, he doesn't have his parts. Fuck, I should have changed it. Kids must have some built-on Xeon radar or something. No kidding. Cats and the other kids were out... were the reason that we were able to fend off Xeon at all back then. Hey, are you gonna hold up okay in that Gundam Amaro? I'm good. In environments like this, it's better to have more maneuverable machines anyway. These are Zagoks. It really is job roll all over again. Yo, the song, let's go! Be careful. From what I can tell, those are some highly tuned machines. I'm not gonna let some ghost from a decade ago kick my ass. Amro and the others will draw the enemies away. We're gonna make a break for it when they're busy. Lieutenant Quattro, <laughs> you're like my dad. Sorry, did I bring back an unpleasant memory? Nope! Thanks, Lieutenant. Even this scarred girl is striving hard to move forward. And I... Come on, Koji, Ryoma. We'll defend Jabra ourselves. Yeah, it's time to teach them once and for all. That the one-year war is over. And that the world has begun to move on. This guy can specialize in aquatic combat. Try to force it to engage you online if you can. They're just gonna bait him. How many are there? 
Mm, is it just these guys? No, there's some on the ground. Holy shit. <laughs> Why are there so many of you? Fuck. I could probably pick at you from here. Yeah, bring it. This motherfucker can't even hit me. Jabra is a place of memories for me. Who'd have thought I'd be fighting Xeon forces in a Gundam here? This is a good chance as any. I'll close the books on the boy I was back then. I had to move on from myself before I could start talking about humanity's future. Eat that ass! <laughs> I so badly, I so badly want at least one suit in GBO2 to have the ability to yeet its main weapon. <laughs> and have it come out like fast as fuck and just be like a last resort when you're really low. Just like, bink! <laughs> Getting war flashbacks. <laughs> ah, the memories. Saikai and I got into our another huge fight here at Jabro. In hindsight, most of my memories of the one year war were my fights with Sayaka. I haven't called her in a while. Maybe I should once this battle's done with. I'll have to make it back to the ship alive for that. <laughs> Yep, no fun and games here, bitch. Get out! Aw, fucking 87 health and a dream. Boo. Boo, I say. Fucking takes the Zock fight again, oh god. Man, it's been a hot minute since I've even looked at Journey to Jab, bro. That was back when I would like mostly rank games. I actually never owned that one, I don't think. He's just gonna have to hold off the Eastern Front for now. <coughs> Hello. What's up, buddy? Gundam de Jion to Shinpo ga nai na. Nothing changes. <laughs> Why is it always gotta be a Gundam? Let's go. Everyone here is just like, man. <laughs> Come to Papa. Nope. And the whiff on the downswing. Scrubby. We got three priority too, bitch. We got that counter too. <clears throat> there goes that counter first when your war when your war never changes. Always gotta dredge it back up. Oh, that one surfaced. Do these guys They should have missile pods, right? Out of their noggins. So again, I can try to look at their weapons in a second. No, it's just the particle cannon and nail. Wow, okay. That's kind of rough. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He's got the follow-up. But he doesn't have enough for... Extra actions yet. Bonk. 
You can probably just hit something from here. Does it really matter? Huh. Why? Is it really just a terrain thing? Fighter spirit potential guard. It's nothing specifically on the suit. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, though. I mean, regardless, you out of here. <laughs> and they're already old as hell. Yeah, you guys can stick close. Play nice, hug it out. Oh, you can't reach anything from there, that sucks. Actually, hold on. Maybe from here? Yeah! Barf on that dude! Man, it's moving in the sun's been 10 years. 10 years coming. I wish you could shove it in at that jerk Hayato's face. <laughs> Oh well, whatever. I'll raise enough hell for me, Hayato, and Misashi. Let's get it out. It's Habib! Gotta get one in there. I don't think these guys typically have support defense. Yeah, that's fine though. Him doing BR. Maybe the terrain for water actually dissipates that a little bit too. That'd be kind of interesting. They're all going into the water. <laughs> Stop. We're too close to the shore, I think. We could move a little bit to the north. Start picking on these guys and force them to come back. Uh-oh. Ah, the dry stark is here. The ship. Hey. Bring out your boy. He's the only one. Get bright back out here. Uh. Where is? There he is. Put me on here. That works. I don't want to see how she'll do. Uso, is Susie okay? Yes, sir. Not a single scratch or bruise. No surprises there. She had Char looking out for her. Lieutenant. Xeon remnants remain active in every corner of the globe to this day. I'm not going to tell them to let it go, but I want them to understand that the world is moving on. And that's another reason we should stop them right here. Exactly. Let's move. Char's becoming more positive than before. I guess Job Rose a special place to you, too. Maybe. Not not quite in the same way. Let's see. They're not gonna be able to do much. So I can move out and in this way. 
probably hit that guy. Let's move these guys straight forward. That's probably a little excessive. Oh, now it's just a crit. <laughs> oh, it doesn't loop after that. Damn. Alright. Okay, if that's what you want to do. Single-handedly nuke CCA from orbit, unlike Garen's greed. Yeah. This warmth I'm feeling on the my back reminds me of Artesia. That's that's a little weird. <laughs> Look at me talking about casting aside the past while constantly going back and dwelling on it. But still, I will try. It'd be a sad thing to give up on myself entirely. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Let's see hit. The implication that these guys have actually been stuck on Earth and essentially just waiting it out for 10 years to just to die to these guys. It's kind of fucked. But, that tends to be the way of it. In the cowboy beatdown scene? Yeah, that beatdown scene was actually pretty good though. That line from CCA, oh god. Give it up already. Leave him alone. Damn. I think most of them will just be like, it's a gondo, but no. Didn't even get to do nothing. Rude. Alrighty. It's only a couple of these guys left. I can stop. Hmm. The ship, <laughs> the ship, huh? That's fine. Go ahead. This dude's about to get ground up by bullets. Just missed the whole ship, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> Bye. Bio sensor. Yeah. There's just one by itself. Uh, can you reach your incomes from there? Yes, you can. There you go. Pew, 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 pew. Those little death cans. Pew, pew. There you go. It's 
speaking of moving on to the future, or at least further ahead than a one-year war. Is it over? Who the hell knows? Those Eon guys never did know when to quit. It falls to, to, to prove to them that the world has changed. Is that even possible? It is. The world and the times change as much as people themselves do. Wouldn't you agree, Amuro? Yes, that is what I believe. Matilda, I suppose I'm older now than you were back then. But I still don't think I've grown into the kind of man you deserve. One day, though, I will. I'll be as much of a man as all the men I've learned from. Lieutenant Quattro. Thanks, Susie. Huh? Shouldn't I be thanking you for saving me? Eh, don't worry about it. I just wanted to thank you. Huh. I don't know why, but you're welcome. I want to do something in return, though. Hang in there, Lieutenant Quattro. I'll be rooting for you, okay? Me? Sure. You're gonna keep trying your best, right? I can tell. Maybe that moral support is what I needed. Wow. I didn't know Lieutenant Quattro had an expression like that. Yeah, I've never seen it before either. Jabro's a place full of memories for us. I guess coming here was worth it after all. He said he didn't like dwelling on that. Even so. The past is the past, no matter how it ended. It's still the fuel that keeps us going in the present and on into the future. It takes a little time to figure that out, though. Is that what it means to grow up? That's for you to see for yourself. We're hardly grown up enough to be guiding other people. Hey, speak for yourself. Maybe you never grew up, but I sure did. Yeah, sure. Real convincing from a guy who clings to a ratty old coat and tries to pass himself off as a tough guy. Huh? And a guy who leaves his old flame hanging out without even batting an eye. Ugh. Yeah, I got a real long way to go compared to you guys. Oh, screw you! <laughs> I'm not gonna take that one lying down. <laughs> it's like Amro and the others are suddenly teenagers. This place brings back memories for them. That's probably why. You got a fond look on your face too, Captain Bright. Of course he does. This place is pretty special for him and his wife too, you know. Yeah, I know how you used to have a meeting as an excuse to get some private time with Mirai. Not one more word out of any of you. Do you hear me? And that's final. <laughs> and there Bright goes, just like the rest of us. <laughs> I hope we can all laugh about this together in another 10 years too. Shar, I wonder how you and I will be then, and how the rest of the world will be. And he got Mission Ace as usual. We just have Haro as a part now? <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to take Amuro out of his suit, though. <laughs> you jinxing dumbass, right? Oh my god. Gonna fuck it up for everybody. Suddenly, there was never another Super Robot Wars game again. Except for DD. <laughs> I wanna see. Did I switch his parts? Or did I just slap shit on him? No. Okay. Might even just keep those on that in particular. I think it's the weapon in air, space, terrain. If anything, just for the mobility. Not that he needs it. To be honest. This is plus two move, plus 25 sight and mobility, plus one range to non-map, non-range one weapons. That's pretty good. I'm real, you fuck, come on, why? <laughs> And lo and behold, but it was too late. Sounds that, that was a little short. 
We'll probably... Ooh, what's this? Bells on the battlefield? Yo, we actually have... Have Uso destroy 100 enemy units. Well, I guess he's coming into the next few then. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Izuru undergoes a change at the ash and draws out his true power. There's no sortie slots for this one either. We'll see what this is about. That patrol out of here. Heroic Awakening. He's gonna lose his brain. Well, that looked rough. But Izuruchi and Red F Izuruchi <laughs> and Red Five really carried them, huh? Izuru's been improving by leaps and bounds. That's good to see, and not just because it makes our job easier. Yeah, we gotta keep Red Five in top shape so Izuru can always come back safe. The battlefield star, thanks to his skillful support team, dominates the field. Nope, got the syllables wrong again. Welcome back, Izuru. You did great out there. Why am I never not great? Err, uh, oh boy. Well, all yours. Remember, you're the only ones I trust with my red five. Sh sure. Ah, uh, from the cockpit, pilot is cool as ice. Who is this stranger? <laughs> Acting like a weirdo again. Izuru's acting weird? Isn't that how you usually describe him? <laughs> I mean, true. He's always going on about heroes and manga and stuff. So what do you call normal for him? Normal for Izuru sure isn't this. His most recent manga was good. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why did the music change like that? <laughs> really? And now you see the gravity of our existential crisis. This is easy to we're talking about, right? Amateur art, cliche stories, sloppy inking, poorly delivered jokes and all. Damn. <laughs> and they're good now, you say? This is absolutely tremendous. What do you think, Daisaku? Seems to me like he's kind of awakened or something. Awakened? Like he's made some kind of breakthrough and that's affecting his manga. He was granted a geese? <laughs> Every time it's something weird, as I can say, it's a geese. It has to be. I'm sure we can always safely rule that out. I feel kind of lost as to what the problem is, though. It's good for Izuru. And I'm sure it doesn't hurt us, right? Yeah, I should ask him if I could have a look at his manga. Colin, I would advise you to be very careful with Izuru. Huh? Oh, damn. <laughs> So the thing is, he's not just growing new mangoes over there. <laughs> Talking about me? Of course you are. Wow, he grew some balls too. He's confident. Geese. I don't get it. It's like he's a totally different person. A way cooler person. What's the matter, Yuza? You look like you've seen a ghost. No, it's just, I don't... Are you trying something new? It's, I'm just me. Always have been and always will be. What a line. <laughs> Damn. Who is this and where did he put Izuru? Uh, Izuru, uh, yeah? Can I, um, see your manga later? Of course. Why don't you swing by my room and I'll show you. Th sorry, I'll pass. Huh, well, that would have worked as a good pickup line if you've really been interested. Well, that's just what I get for being such a stud. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Since when was Izuru such a lady killer? This calls for a very thorough investigation. <laughs> you for sure do have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea what could have caused this drastic change in Izuru's behavior. Sorry. He's been a bit odd since that last battle. Maybe it's, he just hit his head. And it sounds like the cure is a good old percussive maintenance. Put your hand down. What do you think you'll make him worse? I do have to ask, are we sure he needs to be cured at all? Well, what do you mean? For whatever reason, Izuru has changed into someone who can draw a decent manga. I should think that's a good thing for him, given his passion for it. 
Well, it, easy to. What's up? Do you uh feel okay? Perfectly fine. Almost too fine, if anything. Uh, well, as long as you're happy. A hero must be resilient in the face of any circumstance. Okay, sure. Keep it up, hero. Thanks. You're the one I'm fighting for, you know. What? <laughs> what? Now he's charming the dudes, too. <laughs> he's a loose cannon, math weapon, and friendly fire. <laughs> Yo. At this rate, he could start sparking some real misunderstandings between the crew. Shouldn't we ask Chief Maybe to take a look at him? She probably punched him in the mouth. An enemy attack? Now? Ah, perfect. Perfect. In what way? Let's go, team. I'll show you how I fight. How a hero fights. Ah, shit. Never ever let CC let Rindo from GPO. <laughs> For the love of everything holy. Judge Geese. I don't get it. Oh, so the whole crew's out. At least for now. Hmm. I did some upgrades already, so I don't think I really have a lot of money for these guys. Some of them could probably stand to have a little bit put into them, though. I think Red 5's already... Where is Red 5? Hello? Where'd you go? It's in there somewhere. Shit. <laughs> Fucking lost him. I don't think Rhinos is gonna come out necessarily. How far off are you? You guys are like one, two, and. Actually, you're not up that far either. Maximum effect of the Judea system to 20% damage dealt, 35% critical rate, and 600 to defensive shield effect. Nice. Jeez. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it by name actually. That'd probably just be easier. That means I want that by mech, yeah, because now they're all ordered. Enhanced attack, north size, proud ace. Oh, Christ, yeah, you need stuff. In fact, you should have enhanced attack, if anything. Morale attack. It's got potential. Uh, instinct? Oh, yeah, definitely, actually. Another size. Fortune Spirit on Sortie activates the spirit of starting own phase with 130. Hmm. Let's fire parts to affect multiple units. Okay. You just buy full counter now? Fuh. <laughs> Hell yeah. These are really expensive. I don't have that much to throw around right now. Skill up might be good for that, though. I could give you some CQB up, actually. Wait, you have morale defense? Why? What? That's weird. You're supposed to be our frontliner. Let's get out of here. The Vulgaro attack squad is entering the combat zone. Most of the GKA units are still undergoing maintenance. We'll have to lean on the rabbits for now. That shouldn't be a problem. It's just... Oh boy. Damn it, Izuru. Stay in formation. I told you I'm going to show you how a hero fights. 
Is that how a hero is supposed to fight Gridman? I can't answer that. <laughs> What's this all about? Apparently, Izuru has been acting a bit funny since the end of the last battle. Is the Ashen's Awakening having an effect on Izuru's personality? Lugaru on approach! Have we? I think we fought Red Team before. We had to take on all those with just six of us? Have no fear, the GKA will never fall as long as I'm here. Uh, Roger. I think I still have the fear. Okay, at Purple 2, keep an eye on Izuru's vitals. On it. You watch Izuru's back. All units open fire. The Bulgaro cannot reach Earth. Watch the hero work. I'm not so used to this. <laughs> Wait, specifically Izuru or K? Izuru's acting a little bit different in combat in this mission. Turn on combat animations to see him in action. Oh boy. So he's full weirdo mode. To the point where... I don't know if it's going to be that the animations are different or just his lines. Probably his lines. Hmm, can you? Yes, you can. Can't kill, though. A little unfortunate. <clears throat> Izzet has been wackier than he usually is. What's the matter with you all? You're really gonna take this? Oh, here he goes. You think we have a choice or something? If we could do something about this, we'd have done it. Have you lost our Izuru for good? <laughs> I'm just fucking pissed. Nope. Not that that's anything new. Let's move the ship up. Fuck it. Get in there. Although, to be fair, I think Aj will just stay there for like most of the playthrough. I don't think that'll ever really change. If there is a change in the show, then don't say it, because I don't know. But I doubt it. Which is fair. Ugh. It's mushed. Out of here. Need you to stay right here. You can finish off that one. There are so many things I'm fighting for. Earth, peace, my friends, the future of humanity. A true hero claims everything and emerges victorious. Oh shit. That's a lot of cutty cutty. They're pretty slick with adding in those little bits of CG and stuff. Quake in fear of my strength. Izuru. What the hell kind of line is that? I guess it's a morale booster, but it's kind of, you know, extra. Like if a squid shiokata on, on fried rice, serve it with mapo tofu and then topped off with an egg. You cheer me on. That's what gives me strength. So this is just how Yuzuru's gonna be now, or... <laughs> like, mmm. Nope, don't like that. Not, not good. Yeah, let's see what the bean can's got. Eh, yeah, same one. So a little bit more aggressive with the lines, but that's about it. Maybe if we do like his stronger attack, then. These little guys don't really call for it, though, to be honest. And he got the counter first. <laughs> nope. Also, no.
Definitely gonna get ace here. Hmm. Hers is the cheapest, but I kind of wish hers was 15, to be honest. It's kind of weird. I don't know if there's a way that you can actually reduce what some of their spirits cost. I don't know if maybe that's uh, an Aos upgrade or something. <clears throat> I think that's mostly just for EXS stuff, though. Or EXC, like, um, moves and stuff. Unfortunately. Ooh, quick, quicker draw. Oh, because we did so many counters. <laughs> oh, the backline's not even moving? Wow. Okay. They're like, fuck that. Not today. Let's see if they move once we get some more guys up here. See what they do. Here they come. Not even close. <laughs> nope. Two. And it was a crit. Nice. Oh, nice. We can actually reach with this. I was gonna say, should be enough by itself. <laughs> oh god. Actually had to get him even closer. That's a little unfortunate. Urugar, Kimas. Tadachi ni Osen wo. Zahyojik, Tenso. Mokyo ichi. Sokudo yosok shindo. Hachiju nanatin go pa sento. Hiraka. We got the crit though. Keep on coming, Wogaru. But know that no matter how many you, you send, you won't get past me in the GKA. Uh oh, wait, why are you going off on your own? Damn it, Izidu's on. F Damn, Izidu's on fire today. He's not just more pumped up, he's got absolute confidence. This still feels weird. Look out, Izidu, there's more of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you thought this could catch me in an ambush like this? Well, think again. A hero prevails against all odds. Woo! Nope. I'm a new type, bitch. Let's go. He's a dude just won't quit. Wow. When he says he's a hero, he actually means it. A hero. Well, uh, yeah, I know. We can't relax yet. Oh, shit. Seriously? More? Uh-oh. K, please. Gah. K. Izuru. Are you alright, K? I'm fine, but what about you, Izuru? Don't worry about me. I'll always protect you. Oh, damn. Not just the enemies. He's kind of falling all over him, huh? Thank you, Izuru. But please, stop. Huh? Izuru isn't confident or aggressive or cool or tough or whatever you think you're doing. I gotta agree with Kay. This whole thing has been weird as hell. Evil Izuru possessing spirit thingy be gone. And cut it out with the grinning and the one-liners. Do you realize how much of a prick you sound like? 
<laughs> That's not what any of us like about you. You really want to be a hero so bad you turn into a totally different person, Izuru? I... Wake up, Izuru. I don't care if your manga go back to sucking. There's so many other things about you that we love. You, um, really think my manga is that bad? <laughs> Izuru! You're back to normal! He probably sucks a little bit more, too, now. Good to hear that the Izuru we know and love is... is <laughs> to pick on. Hell yeah! If we ever have to talk to that pervy poser again, it'll be too soon! You got this, Izuru? I think so. I'm a little confused, but we're in combat, so... That's what you've always done. Even when we were, you were nervous, you pushed on and pulled through. You think so? I think that's real heroes, heroism. Then here I go. Okay. I'll be a hero. I'll fight for all of you. And for my dream. So can he actually finish? Can he do one and done still? If not, then we can like... Yeah, there we go. We're good still. Just have to be a little excessive about it. What's this battle about, anyway? Everything since our last sortie is a one big blur. What's the matter with you? Isn't this the part where you charge in like crazy instead of yapping? Yeah, you're not supposed to get in your own head and second guess yourself. Uh, now he's making us go all weird. Just go do what you usually do. Your best. Ah, the pile on at last. That's what makes you you, Izuru. Then here I go. A hero never falters in the face of peril. And we're immediately going to go back into that mode. <laughs> だ <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Almost 16k on the crit. Hmm. Incomplete setup. Really? And he got ace. Okay. Plus 20 harmonic level and plus 2 EX EXC on sortie. And more harmonic level to teammates? Damn. Okay. Stop. Just trying to keep her out of that. And he? Oh, because he's got the eraser. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. So two more up here, one more down here. Just in case. Actually, not enough for it, huh? She's got intuition now, so it doesn't really matter too much.
Actually, you can hit too. Oh, <laughs> and a follow up too. Hell yeah. Okay, so. Do a persist here. <laughs> Middle lady, get out of here. Barf. I don't think he has... Threat attack, smash hit. There's one that's in here where they actually can fire a move. But it's not... It's not a skill that you put on, it's actually just an EX thing, but like, a lot of these guys don't have it, which is a little unfortunate. If I wanted to be particularly extra about this, <laughs> I could just... Yeah, fuck it. MMFA! <clears throat> <laughs> like how they brace f like the cannon so intense that it would blind them otherwise. <clears throat> God damn! Bye. We made it. I think that side really seals it. It's easy to alright. What happened to the ladies man from earlier? It's probably for the best, right? This is the version of Izuru that the rabbits know and genuinely love. He broke through the Ashim spell. It may have worked out this time, but we need to keep a close watch on him. Let's go home. Get some rest, Izuru. Okay. Actually, I have something I want to ask you all when we get back. Izuru. Because there's a good chance that that'll happen again, or at least moving forward, it's just going to be something they got to deal with. I want to take this opportunity to ask you all a question. What do you really think of my manga? <laughs> What's opportune about all this? Dude, everyone is telling you exactly what they think all the time. You're up, Ange. Okay. Your themes are insipid. Your stories are a bore from start to finish. Your composition is sloppy and your designs are a tire fire. In short, they suck! So basically, you haven't grown at all. <laughs> Aww. Easy, dude. Can I ask you something? If you had the opportunity to give up something important to be a good at manga, would you do it? Hmm, what do you mean by something important? Like, like, something that makes you you? Then no, I wouldn't. If I had to become an entirely different person to be better at manga, it wouldn't be me doing it, so there's no point. Interesting. You mind if I come by your room sometime so we can talk about that further? G uh, sorry. I can't. Ah, you're bright red. That's adorable. Maybe he just doesn't want to see a big hairy beast in his room. Can you blame him? <laughs> Damn. Says the woman with a curtain for hair. Regardless, Izuru has returned to normal. Yeah, I'm glad we have our Izuru back. Thank you, Izuru. I know I didn't take it well, but I did appreciate what you said to me in that battle. Um, I'm really sorry, Kay, but I don't remember what I actually said. That's alright. Thank you, Izuru. And I'd appreciate it even more if someday you told me something like that as yourself. Someday. Maybe. Hero Monthly. What?
So that knocks out another DLC bid, though. I think we got time for one more. I don't know if maybe we'll get another short one, but I feel like the ones that we have left outside of front missions uh, might take a little bit. <laughs> a warning, a warning might purify lamb being a bee is not very inspiring. <laughs> Oh, Ace Chat. Oh, shit, two of them, that's right. Congratulations, Camille. I heard you made Ace Pilot. Eh, thanks, GK. Considering how talented you are, it was only a matter of time, honestly. It's just too bad that this kind of recognition won't mean much in the future. The future? Oh, that's right. You're not officially a soldier. You're affiliated with the AUG. Yeah. Once the fighting is over, I think my path is going to lie elsewhere. What are you going to do? That, I don't know yet. You'll find something you'll enjoy doing, I'm sure of it. I hope so. But before I can do that, we must bring all the fighting to an end, as soon as possible. Yes, I'll do my best too. Just a casual CQB up. No, nothing super crazy for these. Congratulations, Yuzuru. I heard you made Ace Pilot. Thank you, GK. Since you're here now, how about modeling for me? Manga again? Well, I guess I could, but... You made Ace, didn't you? Why not focus on being a pilot? I'm piloting because it's my job, but manga's my dream. What I really want to be is... a hero, right? You never stop, do you, Yuzuru? Not really. Anyway, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep putting up everything I've got towards that. So then, how about that modeling? Okay, I'll make sure you draw me <laughs> to look cute, okay? Keep giving it your best, Izuru. I've got high hopes for you, and not just for your manga, but for your future. Uh oh, it's gone on Asian. Putting his towards the goose, how dare. Hmm. The Some of these might be a bit of a pain. I'm pretty sure all three of these may or may not have some form of crashing, but I'm trying to like... We'll just go for a warning for now. Hmm. So next we're scouting the Lungneck Selector. Why now of all times though? Lungneck? Lungneck. Hyperlink Gridman is stupid. <laughs> Zanscare is getting more and more active. We need to figure out what they're doing. Still, don't we have a fairly clear picture of their capabilities from our fight with them in Amelia? Not necessarily. We still don't know what they plan on doing with the new battleship we saw, for example. The most frightening thing about Zanskir is how they always seem to go beyond what anyone expects of them. Which is why we gotta go out and take a look at what they're doing ourselves. I get it. I just wish I understood why Zanskir is teamed up with Poseidon, though. I mean, you gotta figure it's because they both oppose the EFF, right? I see you at this point. Let's say for a moment that they defeat the Federation. Well, then what? It's hard to say, since it's not all that clear why Poseidon is attacking your solar system in the first place. But... I do very much doubt Poseidon would share rulership with Earth Sphere with anyone. So they're going to end up fighting? I think that's pretty likely. So what? You figure they're allies because they both think they could beat the other when it comes to a throwdown? Which means both sides might be working on plans to get ahead of the other, behind the scenes. <clears throat> All of this is why we need to gather as much information on Zanskir's plans as we possibly can. Lieutenant Amro has been concerned about Zanskir's pursuit of psychemu related technology, too. Psychemu. Technology that weaponizes the human psyche. Bruh. Literally big bot the attack. <laughs> I hope that you're aware, Yona. We're near L4, which means... The Phoenix. The real question is, will it show up? You're right in that we still don't know why exactly. It keeps appearing in this sector. Still... We had the GKA, and thus we have new types. 
Furthermore, we have a machine equipped with Cycle Frame, so I think the Fenix will definitely appear drawn to it like a bird to a feeder. Everything suggests the tides are in our favor. You're really sounding like a fortune teller now. I guess you stop joking and start thinking about how you can make up your previous failures. <laughs> Damn! Ooh. Don't forget, capturing it will be how we make amends. I know. I... No, I don't think so. Not yet. We haven't really gotten into that one yet. Um, currently we have to get Uso a bunch of kills because his side things opened up. So that's going to be our next one. How we make amends, huh? What's wrong, Ensignona? You seem on edge. Do I really? A bit, yeah. I don't know if you need me saying this, but I think you should try to relax. Pushing yourself too hard just makes it harder to act sometimes. Camille, why are you worried about me? I was able to get my head out of that bad cloud that I was under at Augusta Laboratory thanks to you. I didn't really do anything, though. Maybe not. Still, in you I saw a bird struggling to fly, Ensign. A bird? Locked up in a birdcage like I was. It was inspiring to me. So I'd like to see how far you can fly, Ensign. Ensign Yona! Camille and Yona. I hope that those two can be the strength of the other needs to move forward, past their pain. Lieutenant Amuro? The power of the dead can suck the very meaning of your life if it takes hold of you. The power of dead people? Remember this, Uso. People may die, but the soul might yet remain in some fashion. But if it does, it's a sort of life different than what we know. If you let it drag you down, you might lose sight of what you're living for. I'd never seen Lieutenant Amuro with such sad eyes before. Perhaps I'm only thinking of this because I'm back in the new Gundam, experiencing the Terror of Psycho Frame for myself again. Shit. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> oh, fuck. That resonance is a bitch. But I heard it was only the power of the Psycho Frame that stopped the Axis drop. That isn't wrong, as it goes. But it disguises the deeper question of whether it's right for humans to simply will miracles into being as they please. That's why the new Gundam and the Zeta Gundam were locked away in the first place. Do you reject new types, Ensign Amuro? I hardly have the right to do that. However, I think that the power of new types isn't something that should be seen as divine. Perhaps humanity will someday reach the point where such powers simply are. But it won't be some world-changing power imposed on people by others. All I can say is, right now, in the moment we live in, humanity doesn't understand how to wield that power. That's all. The cycle frame is just the greatest example of that fact. Yeah, we got the full-on new last time. An attack! Is it Zanscare? They must have spotted us and decided to cut the to, to the chase. Ah, shit. People die when they're killed. People die when they're killed. A warning. So the Kylum and the narrative... Okay. You can get another ship. Alright. Hell yeah. Zeta's got that biosensor shit going on. Dummy thick. And a diggy. So Uso's gotta come out. <clears throat> Eldora's soul just because they're stupid. Data Gundam. Where the fuck? Hmm. MPs here. I kind of want to bring Fu out if for nothing else than just to have that extra. Oh shit, that's right. I was like, why is he? Fuck. Rafa, no. I was like, something is a. 
afoot here. There's some fuckery about. Amro, get out of there. <laughs> Are you crazy? Actually, you know what that means, too. Uh, where's Oliver? <laughs> There's Oliver. Getting there. <clears throat> I could put him in the hex I guess. Oh, that's right, I already got the sniping tips and all that in there. That's fine. You darn kids. You fucking gremlins, get in there. And you. Ginny actually hasn't been in it for a little bit. Bring Fu in just to get. Get some higher end dudes in here too, though, because we're gonna have to do a little bit of hustling here. In fact, Sidebuster should probably be up. Mess up and miss the mission for SRX. Oh god. Dance care forces are approaching. Is this one of the ones that crashed for you, by the way? Captain, it's the GKA! The scum that infiltrated our homeland, the land of Queen Maria. They've shown their faces again. If they go much further, they're likely to find out about the Angel's Halo. All units spread out. He must not leave this place alive. No? Okay. Looks like someone's up for a fight. Given the mess we made at their home. Yeah, I'd say that figures. From the way they're deployed, it looks like they want to keep us from proceeding. Which conversely means they have something that they want to hide. No sign of the Phoenix. Nessing Yona seems a little different today. Yeah, he's kind of, I don't know, woo-woo. Spooky. <laughs> woo-woo? Woo-woo? Ensign, <clears throat> the energy of this battlefield. This calls for some caution. All units engage the Zanscare forces. We need to break through them if we want to obtain any useful information. Rita, are you here? Yona, I can feel it too. This atmosphere. What will suits like armor and have high mobility? If you're struggling to hit them, use spirit commands. The warship can't send soul ability. All right. We got some zippy units too, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna save. I just wanna know if it's gonna interrupt us at any point. <laughs> just to be ready. After the hell that was that Ray Earth episode. Uh, definitely not not going to save. Okay, 
飛べブイツンこれでどうだもうダメだおおのおおおおおおおカツリピンおおやられたデュレレテテンいや、ダバスティームズ are fucking great. It's called, this one's called No Reply. The other one I think is legit just called like Here Comes El Gaim. But um, both of them are actually on Spotify. By the way. I was surprised at that. Rude. <laughs> It must happen. Oh my god, right? You know, I am a little sad that we didn't have like a super busted noisy fairy like simulator battle in GBO2. Considering that the survival mode for this time around is actually not even related to Moon Gundam, but is actually just um, Zeta. It would have been kind of cool to have um, a code fairy related one. How can long can you survive in this sheet? <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> Actually, they were talking about having a special, um... Like, event happen where the Cubile shows up in that survival, too. Is I'm wondering if that's specifically that you have to have the Shiki out and then she'll just show up, like, aha, there you are, bitch. <laughs> just start fighting. But then that um that twin boss one is also gonna have I need to save, but Moon Gundam, right? Can we talk about that for a second? Like they are blowing their load super early. Like Varguil and then fucking Moon Gundam. All before Christmas. Like, holy shit, we still have New Year's to go too after that. Like fuck. No, no, no. Daria. See, here's the thing. I, I kind of wonder if he can actually do that. 
to a full health. Okay, no. That'd be funny. But I was like, he's hitting really hard. And he actually just recently... Well, not recently, but also hit Ace and also got his um, upgrade bonus, too. He's kind of busted. New Year's will be the, the Wound Wart Hyru. Hey, real talk, if we can... <clears throat> if we can start getting into some of that finally, that'd be nice. Like, it's definitely been a long time coming. Get some AOZ shit finally. Literally send Grimmen to kill bosses when I'm impatient now. <laughs> just zeet him in, like, just get in there. See, that's Amuro for me. I just yeet Amuro into things, and then he just takes care of shit that exists around him. Oh, we got focus? Okay. And disrupt. It used to be Cybuster, though. Not so much anymore. No use spirits that give 5 EXC. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> This is fucking Oliver and the old Gundam. Wait. Hmm? Oh, pfft. Yona was like blending in with the ship. <laughs> what the fuck? My boys that go in and thin out the ads. I know I'm not strong enough, but I cannot stop. I have to fight. I have to fight to see Rita one more time. Let's go. <clears throat> I don't think he has counter yet. Maybe when he gets biosensor, but yeah. Nope. Oh god! Get him with the HML! We have become support! We have the advantage. We just need to push it. Don't get cocky, Yona. There's no absolutes in the battlefield. Unknown unit on approach, with multiple other machines confirmed in pursuit of it. Are these Zanscare reinforcements? <laughs> it's... Hey. Oh. That golden machine. Is that... Mi That's what Michelle's been chasing. The Phoenix. 
Here it is. So the psycho frame drew it here. Oh, great. It's the crazy super powered occult machine. That's right. We saw it before around here. The Zeons arrived too and pursued the Phoenix. Well, well, well. Looks like my Phoenix hunt has led me to a bunch of other tasty targets. How are you liking my gift wrap Gundams you got, new types? This core sharp sensation. That's Zoltan Akanan. The man who's been gunning for Lieutenant Quattro. Just so I happens to be sipping juice in the ship because I forgot to fucking bring him out like a dummy. The man who calls himself the Red Comet. It seems we're destined to meet again and again. And man, I just can't help but think fate has brought us together. I know. We can make the day a celebration. From now on, every day on this year, we'll celebrate... Every day on this year, we'll celebrate the anniversary of me destroying a Gundam. This man fights purely on emotion. That's why I gave you the Gundams in the first place. So don't go legging it on me now. Lieutenant Ellick, take care of that pond scum. I'm gonna go for the Gundams. Wait just a moment. Our objective is to capture the Phoenix, not... Oh, I'll go for it too, of course. Going above and beyond the Call of Duty is what makes a true hero, right? Damn, failure of a Red Comet. He's acting like a spoiled child is all you're capable of. So let's dance, GKA. And don't feel left out, Phoenix. Once I've beaten all these idiots, those stuffed suits will recognize my talents for sure. Coming for me, Zoltan Akinen? You're just a bonus, Char Aznable. I'm taking you out too. But the Gundam is my first target. I want to do all the things you never could. Be careful, Ensignona. He's after you. Roger. <clears throat> Captain Bright, what do we do about the Phoenix? If it's going to attack us, then we'll have to fight it. Wait for a moment, Bright. I don't feel any hostility from the Fe from the Phoenix. Can you be sure of that, Amaro? No, I can't give you a guarantee. All I can say is that I think it's trying to pick a fight with it would, for no reason is a bad idea. If we ignore it, the possibility remains that it could trigger a disaster. Sure. I believe the Phoenix is fighting solely in self-defense. In other words, if we don't make it attempt to attack it, it won't attack us? That's the impression I get. Understood. I believe we should gamble on Amro and Yona's feelings for now. All units, focus on is engaging Zanskar and Zeon. Ignore the Phoenix for now. Roger. Would that be acceptable, Michelle? If you must, I suppose the situation calls for it. But if the Phoenix gets snatched up and under our noses, all that effort will be for waste. For waste, Jesus Christ. You get that, right, Yona? Rita, I have to see you again. Even if I... Which is why right now... Oh, shit. Defeat... Oh. Unicorn mode shot down. Because everyone was far away from the Phoenix, and the Phoenix yeeted itself to death. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so we're actually protecting it right now. I thought we had it intercepted it ourselves instead. But that works. It's a little awkward because it immediately put us into this um, phase too, or the rest of this phase. That's enough life for me for one day. <laughs> it's like, I think we're done here. Do you leave this motherfucker alone? Damn. No. Get out of here. Stop that. Get some help. Okay, if, I mean, if you just want to die, that's fine. <laughs> just, just keep trying to hit him. That's fine. Go ahead. Stupid. And it makes it easier for us, at least. I'm, like, afraid to hit the spirit actions, just in case. <laughs> Crazy boy and his goons kept bonking the poor girl. <laughs> like, leave her alone, damn it! Ah. I think it's just me. Time to run in space! 
Hmm, so they're not moving. Oh shit. <laughs> Armed Armor DE. Ah, a different tune for this though. Please miss. Thank you. <laughs> Don't be shitty. Fuck. That was a mistake. Rude. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you fucking think. Nope. Oh, not the custom. Oh, he didn't move though. Weird. Get the hell up out of here. So that's Kino Mobile Zoot and Anthony. Oh, yeah, we're on normal, so I'm not too worried about it. Masaki should be able to pull m enough of these guys, too. Bye. Poor Alec. That's all I can do. I have to retreat. Lieutenant Sultan, please do not do anything unwarranted. Roger, Lieutenant. I'll keep your warning well in mind. <laughs> Now that my annoying second in command is gone, I can really get crazy. What a shitter. Or I can just smack you upside head. Oh, here it comes. This ridiculous ass thing. <laughs> I can attack too, you know. Look at my space AK. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, 
Get all boot to the face. Duh, you're really making this a fight, huh? Zoltan Akinen, call off your team. Consider your advice formally thrown in the trash. The title of Red Comet belongs to me. What can a man possibly trap by that title? Po what can a man trap by that title possibly do? Oh, I get it. You're rejecting me just like all the others. He's all the people who humiliated me. Everyone. Every last one of them. Oh shit. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Shinanji Stein, you're responding to me. What? What in the world? What's happening? This light? No, it can't be. The cycle frame is reacting to his emotions. It's acting on his machine, just like how the G Stone turns bravery into power. This evil is taking control of the whole battlefield. This is nothing like the warm light I saw during the Axis drop. Sultan Akinen. You would crack open that forbidden door with your rage? Your hatred? <laughs> oh, hell yes! This power! This power can defeat every last one of you! Smug little. Suddenly full of himself just because he's got a new way to flex. He's also going to be consumed by his own hatred at this rate. So this is what Lieutenant Amuro was talking about. The power that humanity of today mustn't see. Gundam, time to see if we can make this machine bleed! Ugh, Yona! You know, I'm really mad at you for sticking your nose into my fight with Shara Aznable. Oh shit, ow, fuck. No, no, no. Get out of there, Ensign Yona! <laughs> no escape for you now, Gundam! What was that? Was that a voice just now? This voice. It's the voice that's been calling me all this time. Uh oh. So, it's Yona here. Phoenix, you want to stick your beak in too, huh? Rita, is that you? Get out of here! That machine, why isn't it dodging? It's protecting against Yona, I'm sure of it. Rita, I, I probably don't even have the right to see you again. But Rita, I need to see you. If I'm going to do that, and send Yona, these strong emotions, are these Yonas to move forward together with the soul of a dead person? Is that what you want? Rita, I... Ooh, the narrative cycle frame. It's... Now that's more like it. I think I like you. Too bad you're dead anyway. Doesn't matter if the Phoenix covers for you. I'm taking you out. I don't think so. Die. I can't die yet. All units support Ensign Yona. If we can stop that white machine, we can end this fight. You've been trapped by doubt. He struggles for the duty he knows he must fulfill. Someday that will. Yona. Rita. I'll survive so that I can see you again. So we just got to take out the Stein, but everyone's pretty still... Still pretty far away. And we're still in this phase. Punch this dude in the face. I will cry if you miss, but we'll see. These guys in. Time the bullet. Anta Tachedo Kari, Poco de Kaisio. 
シュラフタイを甘く見るな打ちまくるよこら Save the generals バズーカの一斉発射で<笑>もうダメだ Hmm. He has some EX, but not a whole lot. Ship's back there, too. Oh my god. Hold on. Casually go all the way across the map. So that means the only one left here. He's actually out of range for that? Fuck. I don't think he can move and fire that either, which kind of sucks. Rita, if that's what you want, then I. This motherfucker is crazy. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's kind of shitty actually. Alright. Oh, wait, what? Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like the Phoenix's hunt's gotta be put on pause. Just you wait, Phoenix. Once that gun has been dealt with, we are mine. I should. This is where things might get a little ugly. <laughs> Check out the damage on this. Where? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, she connected. <laughs> He's definitely going to. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Nice. So now we're oh, okay, thank God. 
I can deal with that. Gundam, you just can't not get in my way, can you? Then I'll take you out and prove that I'm worth something. I don't know if I can hope to beat him, but I have to. But this life that Rita saved... All right. And you... <laughs> okay. We got him in... We got him in our pocket. So that's fine. Amaro's got it, just in case. I kind of want you to try. Oh, you can too. Nice. Maria Sinio Kakuremino ni kyo seiji o suru yo na yatsura wa onna uchi de wa. Give me the old school. Koko wa tosan. Can you reach with the ultra from here? That would have been amazing. <laughs> like, hmm. I don't know if Uso can actually kill it from here. No. Oh. Ernie's too strong. <laughs> Ernie, no. And he critted anyway. Fuck. Alright. <clears throat> Uso was definitely supposed to get a lot more kills this time around, and that did not happen. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone get the fuck out. That's right, he's got flash. Cancel the three rune circus. Get him all off the arc. Uh, Grip man can just bonk this guy. Kick him in the fucking furs. Jumping, jumping in space. <clears throat> Ooh, the slash. Let's go. Wow, that's the difference. Thankfully, we have intuition. Bullet. 
Ooh, and a crit too. Who can handle that? Oh, damn it. No, I wanted a tune. Oopsie. That's the wrong thing. It's actually not even enough. So that's a bit of, con of a conundrum. I want him to do it, but he might not have the chance. Oh, wow. He has zero chance to hit. What the fuck? I mean, thankfully he has intuition, but still. Shit. <laughs> You get to get killed by a ghost harem, buddy. I hope you feel lucky for that. Didn't I hand you back your Gundam? You could say thank you. You could say thank you, Camille Badan. Whoever gave this strength to a man who treats battle half like a joke didn't understand what they were doing. I have to stop this man, or all those old tragedies will just happen again. Oh, oh, that's that's a good way to make Camille upset. <laughs> Cyber new types, say no more. Time to bust out the ghost harem. I like how they don't even show their likenesses that much. Just a quick flash of ghosts and that's it. At least he doesn't get turned into a vegetable. A little bit of PTSD though, though. Whew. Yep, get on out of there, bud. You did good. Damn, how did this happen? It stopped! You goddamn insects! How could this happen to me? In nowhere... In some nowhere place like this? Ah, shit. Come on, what's wrong? Don't tell me that's all we got! Why won't you move? The Gundam's right in front of us! Now's our chance to turn everything around! And even so, I have to retreat? The Zanskir and Zeon forces have retreated. They sorted an enormous force against us. We may be near Zanskir's home territory, but that was still an normally strong defense. So... Clearly, there's something Zanskir doesn't want us to know about. Learning that alone makes this mission a success for now. We should ask Gehenna to handle further investigation into the League Military's main force. We managed to drive them off, but... The power of that psycho frame... It really can be terrifying. It's created by humanity, yet too much for humanity to bear. Still. What are you doing, Yona? Now's our chance to capture the Phoenix. Hurry! Whoop! Goodbye. Rita! What are you doing? Chase after it. We can still... Girl, shut up. <laughs> we lost its signal. There's no way anyone could catch it. Not at that speed. No! It's gone, then. As Amro and Yona said, it wasn't our enemy, but... 
that man in the Phoenix. Perhaps humanity is being put to the test. Maybe the fact that she appeared here before us was a warning. Rita, why did you... You gonna get slapped. And Siona, may I have a moment? Lieutenant Amaro. If you keep chasing the Phoenix, you'll probably end up fighting that man, Zoltan Akinen, again. That means fighting against Psycho Frames. From what Michelle told me, the Phoenix itself is made of a Psycho Frame. It responds to the pilot's desires to create phenomenon beyond human understanding. You've seen how terrifying that can be for yourself. The narrative in the new Gundam had that inside of them. That's right. The power that pushed Axis back is also created by Psycho Frame. Somewhere deep inside of me, I fear that power. Lieutenant. But at the same time, I believe that if humanity becomes true new types, that they can control it. Yes, just like the pilot of the Phoenix is. <laughs> but neither you nor I need to go that far yet. Going where she went would be no different than being absorbed by the souls of the dead. But I... Even so, I want to try to touch Rita's thoughts. It's how I'm going to make up make it up to her and the whole reason i'm fighting all right well i'm glad i could hear you say it out loud you might be able to manage it but believe that after this fight today which is why i want to make sure that you heard me say it lieutenant i hope i'm not putting too much on your shoulders yona i still don't know if i can shoulder it all but i know that i want to do everything that i can then that's plenty good luck thank you Prometheus' flame itself. Don't fear it. Just keep moving forward. It's the only hope that people... It's the only people who can do that who will create a new age. Char, perhaps you and I are the old types at this point. Damn. But true, old types. Uh-oh. Oh god, the emergency order. Shit. We received official orders from EFF HQ. We're to engage the Zanskir fleet at their landing point in Europe. Orders from on high? Sadly, we're not autonomous enough to simply blow those off. Going to Athens. Well, that sucks. But. Let me take a look at something here. They're still working on bills on the battlefield. Got a good amount needed for that. Purified land, and it's the B1 fucking 708 estimated strength? Fuck. We got enough to do some upgrades, and if you really want to push our luck, we can maybe do some of these on the, um, on the onboard battle to grind out some stuff. But, that will have to be for later. So we're going to be ending this on being in a emergency sortie time. Hopefully this one doesn't give us too much trouble in terms of crashes or bugs, but you never know. But let's save real quick. And we'll see what our outro is going to be for today. Girl, you out of here. <laughs> Yep. Have a good one, Napalm. So there is going to be more rare stuff in the future, too, since we saw that other, um villain show up but that's gonna be probably much later but that's all she wrote for super robot wars 30 for today so until then and until next time hope you guys have a good one out there in youtube land and i'll talk to you later <laughs>